going to go over uh, kata basarai. I'm going to do the kata several times. We'll count through it, do it our own count. But most importantly, uh, I will give you a lot of like small drills, basically small pieces of the kata that I think are important to focus on and to drill specifically. So we'll work on some very specific pieces of the kata individually, and then hopefully that makes your overall kata execution and understanding a little bit better. All right, so first off, let's kind of warm up by doing the kata by count. All right, so I'll do it a couple different ways first. I'll do it um, normally. If you have all the space in the world, that's great. And the second time I count through it, I will do it staying in a very small space to give you ideas on how you can change your feet and still do the kata. All right, okay, so first, uh, basara. Great. All right, basara. Do it. First thing right, left hand's open, right hand is a fist, and just holding, I put my thumb kind of in a little space here of my other fist. Okay, by the count, ready? H. Nisan. Shigok. Rook. Sichach. Ku. Jup. H. Nik. Sanchi, Go, Rook, Sichach, Ku, Ju, I, Chow, Ni, San, Shigo, Ro, Sich, Hach, Ku, Jupich, Ni, Sanchi, Go Rook, Teach, Hatch, Ku, Jup, Teach, Ni, Sam, She, Go. Shake it out, okay? So let's do the kata again by the count. And this time I'm gonna try to stay within like a four foot by four foot perimeter, maybe five feet. What I'm gonna suggest you do, there's different ways you can do this. I'm gonna suggest you switch your feet as necessary, uh, as opposed to keeping one foot in place. That's a different way to do it. So I'll kind of show you as we go through. All right, but just to give you a demonstration, right, once you start the kata, here, right, this one's kind of easy. We're kind of turning in place. Um, this one, we're really not doing too much, really. The first part of the kata stays where we are. It's not until here where now all of a sudden we can go forward or back, we can go too far forward. So I would just say switch your feet in place. And then that one, same idea. So just a lot of changing of our feet, right? Sometimes you can go forward. So maybe we'll go back and forward. This one keeps us in place. This one, we're still in place. The cut actually stays. So instead of moving too far back, you might pull this front foot back, kick, strike. These stay in place, right? Not too much movement. So here's a big turn that might lead you too far this way, right? You might lead the front foot across and then turn. Instead of stepping too far that way, stay about here. Really, even this one, we stay pretty close. So there's not too much changing of the feet, but that's what I suggest instead of stepping too far forward to the side. We'll try to stay right about here. All right, let's try. All right, pass it up. Great. Pass it up. Yo. H. Nissan. She go. Rook, Sichach. Right, and from here I could have stepped back if I wanted to, right? Each, Ni, Sanchi. Go Rook, Sich. So now to switch your feet. Hach, Ku, Ju. Each. So now you can actually pull your front foot back as you make your kicking technique to stay here. 
Switch feet. Cheese. Oh. So I have my left foot back and then right foot forward. Ready. Itch. Knee. Look over your shoulder. Sa. She. Go. Rook. So now bring your left foot back as you rotate and kick and strike. Itch. Knee. Song, she go. Good. Now rook, sitch, arch, kuk, ju, each, knee, song. All right, now move your right foot across, across, and then turn. That'll keep you in the same position. Each knee. And now song, this side. Okay, just a small shift now. Each knee, so good, young, and now really interesting, right? So, in that cut, there's really not a lot of adjustment to stay in a small space, it's actually a pretty self contained kata. Never really realized that till I tried to train it in a small space. Okay, last time, your own count now, all right? I said I, your own count. So warming up. Great. That's right. Yo. Hush. Just relax. Not too fast, but still with some snapping of your hands and feet. when you're finished right, and relax when you're done. Let's check it out. Okay, so next up we're going to work on a couple different drills to help you with the kata, but before I actually even get into uh, pieces of the kata, I have one thing I want to work on just to force your body and your hips to um, be thinking about the movements you need for the first like six, seven movements of the kata. So from here, everyone left side, get on the right. So we're going to work on Big hip rotation and coming to Gyakuhami, reverse half face position. So from here, on right hand out, first count, left hand, Agyuke, each. Next count, we're just gonna make Agyuke with our back hand, with your right hand, and you're gonna try to come a little bit past center. Try to aim your belly button and your belt nut into the inside of your leg. That's the kind of like you're crashing into your inner thigh. So from here, rising block, knee. So this would be kind of square. I don't want you here. I want you to twist your body as much as you can without breaking down your stance or your back foot into reverse half face. All right, from here, left hand huh, rising block. So, and then from here, right hand rising block. Chi, go, bro. So you're really maximizing how big your hips are moving from one extreme to the other. Sitch. Hutch, go, G. One more count of ten. H, B, some, G. Think about your feet, your legs kind of squeezing together. Uh, Yakohama is almost an inward tension feeling, inward pulling feeling. Not to in retention, really. Tension is a bad word. Uh, pulling versus a pushing. So instead of your feet pushing apart, your knee, your legs are pulling together to stabilize you in this position. Again, ready? Itch, half face. Knee, reverse half face. So, chi, go, rook, si, 
Hatch. Go. Ju. Yeah. Okay, other side. So, she's in tight. Right side forward. Get on but up. Okay. From Hami, half face position. All right, first count. Start in Yakuzuki position. Start us off comfortable. All right, first count. Agyuke, right side. Itch. Now, Agyuke, rising block. Left hand, take your left hip. Don't just point your left hip to the camera. Point your left hip in toward your front knee. All right, so don't stop here. Try to twist your hip like it's aimed at your front knee. Ready? Knee. So, half face. Chi, reverse half face. Go. Ro. Sich. Ach. Gu. Ju. So you have to really be trying to hold on to the floor with your feet, stabilize yourself, use the inside muscles of your legs to get to this position. You're trying to maximize full face, half face. One more count of 10. Ich. Knee. I'm sweating pretty good, so if you're working hard, you probably should be too. So, chi, go, ro, zich, hach, gu, and you. Yum. So, now relax, sweet out. Okay, so that's all just to get your hips thinking about where they want to be, how the, the flexibility you want, and your hip drive for the first few series of the kata. Not about pressing rising block, that was just to give you an excuse to use your hips. All right, so now we'll work on the first part of the kata. First one, I'll have my back to you, but that's okay. So we're just gonna do the first seven movements. Okay, just to practice this one, but mostly what I wanna work on is you thinking about your legs and your hips. Big motion, half, half face, here. Big motion all the way, here. Big motion all the way, and then here. Okay? By my count, first seven movements, then I'll begin to give you some things to think about. Okay. A yoi position for basarai. Ready? H. Make sure balance is good. Your front knee is aimed forward, like front stance. Your back shin just comes up until your shin hits your calf. Okay, from this position, if this knee is bent, this right leg should be able to be, should be bent, should push you very strongly as you turn. So your hips rotate and this leg pushes you. So stay low, come under the arm, under, push, half face. Each. We're actually gonna do that one three times. Go back, facing the camera. Ready, in kosarach position. Ready, so push off this leg. Knee, just one block, half face, half face. Pull the shoulder back, recover. Two more. Ready? Stop. Half face. Really pull that shoulder, the hand, and the hip. Half face. One more. Recover. Ready? Chi. Very good. And now adding the next block. Go. All right. Look over your shoulder, looking kind of toward the camera, your monitor. Set up your hands. Right hand reaches, left hand comes up to the ear. Come across. Uh, this has been told to stop about square. You need to come across your body, just stopping square, nice and strong. Each. And now from here, under the arm. Uchi de okay. Never make it small. Cover as much ground as you can, especially when practicing. So next count to here. Right, chi. Okay, next one. This hand, I can throw to my shoulder, down, like I'm blocking a kick and scooping the kick. Hand on the person and then throwing them is what I like to think about, but other applications. But either way, scoop low, up high, step in half face, ready, each. Let's do that again. So your right leg is gonna face the camera, half face position, okay? So we're gonna go to the shoulder, scoop low, come up high, and then in. Ready, knee. Back to this position. Right foot forward, facing the screen. Ready, two more times. All one count, go, low, high and in. Recover, last one. Ready, 
Row. Low, high. So you're here, and then from this, hands are relaxed. And then at the end, you use the hip. Right. Okay, last one now. Both blocks. Ready? She. So here, then one, two, all one count. Good. Yummy, recover. Check it out. All right, same thing. Last description. You hopefully know what you're doing. Ready? You want position. Or bust that up. Each. Hold that position. Good balance. Push off the front knee. I want you to make two blocks. All one count. Knee. Hold. Good balance. Look over your shoulder. Next count, make next two blocks. Oh. Hold, relax. Next count, make your next two blocks. She, low to high. And quick and quick. Recover. One thing I'll note, I would argue this is a lot like hand knee down. So in hand knee down, we learn this. We teach this to yellow, yellow belts. When we come from full face to uh, reverse half face, the hips should be pulling, should turning, so the foot may pull back naturally. Um, I remember being at a, a summer camp years ago, a master camp, and um, we were told by the instructors, you know, someone was asking about it, and they said, don't do, and hey, I need on, I said, no, don't do this. Don't go here, and then don't do that. And then he said, you want to do that? And everyone looked at him like, well, what do we see? Or looked at the same thing. The point was, the foot will pull back. But you're not thinking like, all right, go backwards, make the block. You're not thinking to pull back on the foot on purpose. All you're thinking about is stay here and pull, go from here to Yakuhama. That should pull your hip back. It's got to pull the bone of your knee backwards. So the idea is it's not push your foot backwards. It's correct a stance, pull the hip back, the hip will naturally pull your foot. I think this is the same thing. So I don't want you on purpose to relax your stance and come backwards. You're staying low, you're keeping your force forward, it's just that by virtue of staying low and twisting your hips correctly, that probably is going to pull this foot back. That's okay, that's probably good, just don't go. It's just too relaxed. You're, like, I'm planning to pull the foot back. You don't want to plan to pull it back. You want to plan to keep your height, your your height the same, and just turn your stance correct. All right. You know what? Back to the start. I by the count. Ready? H. Hold, hold, hold. Next count, two blocks. Knees off. Hold. Should be reverse that face. Push that right hip into your front knee. Ready? Knees up. One, two. Now we're open half face. Next one. Two blocks. One, two. Pull this left hip in toward that knee. Knees up. Yummy. Okay. You away position. One count. All seven movements slowly. No power, no speed. Ready? H. All the way through, good balance, maximize your hip rotation and your hand movement. So don't make small movements with the hips or the hands. Big motion. Ready? Yoi. Knee. Start. Ready? You want position? Sa. Recover. Okay. Three more. Okay, I'm going to count um, the full power, full speed. Okay? So we'll do it together. One count, full set of seven, a little bit of power and speed. Ready, yo, H. Now many relax. So whatever you did there, try.
try to improve upon it. Hips, stomach, instead of shoulder muscles. Ready? Yoi. Knee. Recover. Last tip again. Make sure these blocks are as big as possible. That's what I'm feeling for myself, is I could probably make them bigger. Yoi. Last one. Now, right, your own time, your own count, uh, you know, about 75% speed and power. Get a little bit of snap, but don't tire yourself out. Too much. Wait. Bust it right. Yo. When you're finished, relax. Okay, so the next uh, technique we'll work on is just real quick four movements in the middle of the kata. Okay, from this position, I think this is a kind of a signature part of the kata. It kind of does come up in some other katas a bit. This position here, right? So, right, punching and then blocking. Punching and blocking seems like an odd order unless you're thinking about, well, maybe you've blocked and grabbed, strike someone, you've pulled them in, and then this is a strike to this at the neck, right? Punch, you've got someone's arm here, you've struck them once, their head's probably about, about here, you're going to go here into the side. So you're striking this one. Strike, strike, and then relax. And the guy says, try the same on the other side, you're like, all right. I'll go here, here. So think about striking with the thumb side of your wrist. After you've punched, you have to get the thumb side of your wrist back and then across. As you have their hand, if you have someone's arm and that arm is going this way behind your body while you're striking their neck, it's probably very uncomfortable. So think about that. All right, she's in tight, left hand out, right hand on your hip. So first, just a punch, you practice from white belt. Use your hips, connect your stomach at the end. Itch. All right, so now I like to, in the cut, I guess I go, I probably just go across to my shoulder, so I should probably train that. So touch your shoulder. If you wanna, this is probably better to extend the hand. Not sure if I do that as I do the kata, All right? But from here, touch your shoulder. From this position, you have to find a way to make power by twisting your body Using kind of an inward pulling feeling of your stance, striking here. Right, ready? Knee. Okay. And keep your eyes forward. Right? All right, now from here, your, your hips are twisted. This is great. Now you've got some hip rotation. Snap the hand. Beep. Touch your shoulder. It's almost like you're telling your shoulder to go back. And as soon as your hand touches the shoulder, that's when your body rotates. That's when your hand moves out and strikes. Ready? Knee. Good. Back to your position. Left hand out, right hand on the hip. One punch. Reach. Hold, relax. Now quickly, don't move the body too soon. Keep the body there while the arm moves across. 
Keep the body there, and then turn the body. Knee. Okay, rotation. Stop your body altogether. So, don't move your body until the arm is set up in place. G. Good. Open your left hand. One more time by the count. One punch. H. Relax. Prepare for the next one. B. Ready. Some. Relax. G. Open your left hand. All right, one count. Punch, strike. Hold that position. Ready. H. Relax your body. Now, same thing on the other side. Punch and strike. Knees up. You only recover. Left hand out. Right hand on the hip. One count. Punch, strike. H. Other side. Knee. Yoi. Same thing. H. Knee. Recover one more time. Ready. H. Knee. Yoi, relax. Okay, now all one count. Don't rush through. Give yourself a chance to pause. Give yourself a chance to pause. All right. Left hand out, right hand on the hip. On my count, twice slow, twice with speed. All four movements. Ready? First two slow. H. Recover. E. Recover. Now with speed. So. Recover. Make sure you finish both punches. Feels like my second punch, I didn't finish. Ready? G! And relax. Okay. Shake it off. Okay, back to Basadai, full kata. Okay, your own count. Basadai. Thank you too much. Ready? Basadai. Again, your choice if you have space to do the full kata normally. Uh, if you want to, I'll try this time. Again, stay to a small space. Switching feet, that's fine too. Your, your own count. About 75-80% power and speed. Hi. When you're finished, relax, you get out. All right, for this next kind of combination or part of the kata, I'm going to kind of give myself an easy way out here. I'm not going to tell you what to do here. I've had this changed on me over my, you know, kata career. Ask your instructor, your seniors, how do they like your body to shift, um, uriash, front foot, back foot, uh, timing. So I'm not going to tell you with you that I feel like there's a lot of, it's a landmine, I'm not going to go there. But we're going to start basically right after that technique, okay? So we'll start facing away from the screen, but then we'll turn, you'll be able to see me. So just watching me first, we're going to go from this position, right foot forward, right hand's going to be out, right? So the next part of the kata is to look, right? One, two, three. Okay, so we have to really practice, just like Han Goron. Han Goron teaches us this. Look, open your hands, whether we're blocking or protecting, setting up, turn, block, strike, block, grab, whatever you're thinking, you have to set up for it. So from here, 
Head and hands are set up. Front hand is bent, right? This hand here. And then blocking by the face when the back hip drives in. I always, at least I think for the kata, striking from the side is what I'm thinking. Um, maybe you have to go in, whatever you're thinking. To this position, okay, we'll go here. And then what we're gonna do, we'll close the hands. The low hand's gonna come over the top. Other hand lower. This hand's gonna stay here, just watching me right now. This hand, your left hand stays. Your body rotates. This stays right there, protecting yourself the whole time and giving yourself a draw hand for this technique. Then here, right? And then we're going to make our crescent kick. Left foot, don't hurt your own hip. As soon as you start the movement, open that foot. Really important to prevent injury to the back hip. Okay, so we'll go until elbow strike, stop there. Okay, so everybody, right foot forward. Right hand, oizuki position, facing away from the screen. All right, first count. Look toward the screen. Hands set up, just a hand on. First count, rotate, strike, block. Ready, each. So you're facing the screen, left foot forward. Strike, gate on level, blocking, joint on level. Okay, low hand, hands close. Low hand comes up high and in front. Each, so pulling back. All the way back like hand going on. All right, pretend like someone's holding your wrist. You can't move it. Your whole body comes around, knee is up, elbow is up, and then strong get on the Keep it up. Knee. Okay, now looking toward the back, blocking, target, right? Blocking, still in keep it up. Open hand, ready? Next count, right leg, crescent kick. Right, open your left foot as you kick. Oh, as, don't go here, then move. As you move, as you move, one, two. Ready? Each. Let's do that three more times. Everybody back, watching me real quick. So, you are going to keep that hand right here that like someone's got it. After they hit it once, it's not going anywhere. That's your target for your elbow strike. Okay, so really keep it right here in space. It's the same target for both. Do your best, all right? Ready? Left hand out, kick, then ambiuchi. Ready? Each. Recover. Two more. Ready? Three. Cover. Last one. Song. So you're trying to be nice and straight across here. Elbow strike is pushing out from your body. We're not like close. Not close your body. Pushing straight out. Right here. Okay. Whole series again by my count. So everybody, right foot facing away from the camera, away from your screen. Right foot forward, right hand out. Okay, look over your left shoulder. Set up your hands. Next count, turn, strike, itch. That's a quick one. Now this is slow. Knee. Keep your left wrist right there. Turn your body and then get on the eye. So, now under your arm, she. Open hand blocking, setting up a target. Kick strike. She go. Recover. Again, ready? Right foot forward. Look over your shoulder. Now all one count's gonna be set up and turn. Each knee, hold. And now pulling up, knee. Now turn the hips. Not a big rounded motion. It's like you're taking your right knee, and I wanna take my right knee on a straight line like up to the corner of the ceiling. I'm just trying to get my right knee up there. I'm not gonna go like, and then back. That's really hard. You're in like a hallway that's as wide as your body. So you have to stay in this really, really narrow hallway as you make this technique. Ready? Chi. Roll. Roxy. Okay, don't forget, open that foot. Otherwise you might injure your hip. 
knee, ankle. All right, back to right foot forward. Before we start, now we're gonna go turn, up, block, here, finish. All one count. No power, no speed, okay? Relaxed, correct motion. Ready, right foot out. Each, all the way through, good body control, finish, perfect balance, nice elbow strike, recover, again, two more, ready, knee, recover, Right side again. Ready? Song. And relax. Okay, same thing now, speed and power. Three times. We'll go by my count again. Now a little bit of quickness. Maybe 80, 85%. Alright, ready? Right foot forward. Right hand out. All together. Ready? Each. Go fast and then slow as necessary. Recover. Notice this combination. Fast, slow. Fast, slow. Fast. So, you got to differentiate. Ready? Right hand out. Knee. To the full kata again, okay? Masada, your own count, however you're able, you're able to fit it in your space. I'm scratch, great. Masada, yo. when you're finished, and out. Okay, just relax, get your breath. So, as you're relaxing, last part of the kata that we'll work on right now is these struts. Different ways to think about them. Again, today's really not bunkai day. I don't have a partner with me. I think there's some good bunk guy out there, happy to give you suggestions, but um, mostly I like thinking about how to perform the kata well so that when you apply it, your body's been hopefully trained well and to be strong and in a good position. So you may have your own thoughts here. I used to always like to think about self-defense. Someone's got a haymaker coming in, you know, you're not fighting a shoulder comp player, someone that's just gonna be throwing something and you're just going to, you know, this is an instinctual response of going up, like, yeah, you know, right? You're just going to duck your head under and you're catching it here. And as you do, you're striking here. And if you're really good, you're going to block it and punch at the same time. It's all pretty cool. And recently, you know, from Ian, 
was Ian Abernathy probably. His was like a cross wrist grab. Um, that's the low hand, so if it's a cross wrist, he's saying that's rolling and going into the person. And that would kind of like move them back. And that kind of necessitates a reaching punch to catch them. So that's something, if you want to think about pushing with this one, and this is a strike, that's great. Um, pushing in, strike, or something's coming in from here, and you're like, I don't want to fight, I don't want to fight. Something comes in, you're, you know, you're here. So you're ducking out of the way, this is covering you, maybe this is able to hit them same time, but definitely here, right? And then what does Akata say to do at the end? As soon as you hit them, you're out. You're out and probably you've taken them down on your way out. So you're not gonna like stay right here. Whatever you like to think about. So we'll do different than the kata does, so we can you can watch the screen. So watch me first. So I'm gonna be facing this way. We just finished this. One, two, three. So we'll start from here. I was always taught to your hip, cup and saucer, so chin dodge, foot dodge, and then into front stance. So kind of as a transition period is what I was always instructed to do. So we're gonna go one, two, three, up, four. Okay, we'll do it three times. This is the kata. So in a few times, it'll give you some tips. Okay, so. If wherever the screen is, wherever your monitor is, turn to your left, keep it up. We're in this part of the cup. Make the third one of these. All right, first count. Foot dodge, cup and saucer. Itch. I want this because I want your back leg to be bent. And now from here, pushing. It's a rotation and a push into here. Baby. Pull back to your right hip. Some. As this knee comes up, I'd encourage you to drop, lower your level. So not here, but here, okay? I also rotate a little bit half face. So I'm gonna come here, and that gives me a little bit more hip for throwing these punches. Me, so, G, and relax. I think another good way to think about this too is why would we be here? Somehow maybe you've you grabbed someone's attacking, you've got someone's wrist, and you've got a hold of someone's hand, you've pulled it in, this is just supporting, you're probably knee, maybe kneeing them and then striking. So this doesn't need to be like a gentle relaxation. You can think about this. You've got someone, they're here, you just strike them with your knee and then your hands. So just don't make this too lazy. All right. Couple points, right? Elbow on the hip, pretty much. There's not, not even like a space, it's almost, for me, almost on my hip. You're not reaching with this technique. This gets weaker and weaker and weaker, stronger, stronger, stronger. Uh, my elbow is almost sitting on my body. Forearm parallel to the floor, no, no, yes. That's your strongest position, like your body weight is behind that. And this one, it's pretty similar to rising block. Just kind of turned, okay? So, um, very close to the head. You're just enough to block, protect yourself. Your hands, no, no. Hopefully one straight line up and down. All right, I think you can see over here, okay? This, no, no, same, yes. All right, um, okay, we'll go from there. All right, setting up again. Turn to the left, so keep it up. One, two, three, ready? First count, foot or dutch, uh, cup and saucer position. Itch. Second count, kind of rotate the hip, push with the back leg, strike in. Knee. Pull, nice and controlled. Som. Knee's gonna come up, and then throw the hands. Knee. Som, slow and controlled. Cheek, knee up, strong. Good. Um. Okay, let's see how this looks here. Um, <laughs> I 
All right, so I think you can kind of see most of this without changing my camera. But I want to highlight that if you've done this for years, this is way stronger than you think. So remember, it's not really a sideways hit. At least I don't think of it that way. And it's not like reaching um, in a futile fashion. It's from your hip going straight in and they just kind of separate, right? So even from a stationary position, if I come to here, um, I, you're using, I think you're leaning in, you're not your, I guess your weight, but this, so, so from here, you're, you're trying to throw your weight. It's not like uh, this, your, your body weight, your body is from here, and you're trying to really, really throw yourself in. So when you're here, don't go like step. It's not a step and then just the hands. I don't know if you can see me here, but the step, you're gonna land, and then your, your hands are moving with your body weight, hopefully. Okay, let's see how that looks. All right, so what I was just trying to demonstrate, right, is that from here, it's a straight of a line in as you can make it. A straight of a line in as you can make it. You're not extending out, but you're not going like up. I've seen some people like an, like an up and then it's kind of like a down. It's, they kind of end up here. You've got to go in as much as you can. So when you're here, that's why I don't go one, two. There's not a whole lot of momentum, of power, if you're like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I like to, as the knee comes up, especially if you have someone's hand and you're kneeing them, you probably wanna pull them further as you're kneeing them, right? So from here, I like to, whether it's cheating or not, my hips rotate here, and that way it's further back and I can throw, right, my hands. So from here, uh, I don't care if you are someone that likes to same time, foot and strike, or a little before. before. It's not your foot. I should make a video about this. Um, hand foot timing doesn't necessarily mean the foot. It's more about your weight. When is your weight landing on the front foot? It's more about weight on the front foot. So you can and still have your weight driving with your technique. All right, let's try. Facing the screen, turn to your left, keep it up. Ready? One count, all three strikes. Slow, no power, no speed. Ajay. Good form. Think about throwing your hands from the hip. Hip back. Throw the hands in. Recover. One more time. Ready? Knee. Okay. Once more. All right, ready? Song. So now a little bit of power and speed. Okay. Let's go twice, slow, three times some power and speed. Okay. Let's try it out. Paul still count us through, so you stay with me. Now you always position. First two, same thing. Nice and relaxed. H. Position. Ready? Okay. Next three. Power and speed. Yo. Hey. Okay. 
And wherever you land, you gotta have good balance. You have to be here, feel like you are balanced and ready. Do it. Done. Now, whole kata. A few times, alright? Let's go. First time. A little bit of power and speed. Then once more to close this out. About to have power and speed. Alright, so you've been working on different parts of the kata. Don't rush through. Make everything as correct as you can. Basarai, your own count. Good power and speed. Three. Basarai. Yo. Okay. Make sure you have relax. Last time. One kata kind of for a cool down. If I said I, by my count, by my count, good form. Okay? Just about half power, half speed, but correct. Still snap your techniques a little bit. Don't too much. Right? If I said I, do it. Follow my count. Hitch. Knees up. She go. Again, shoulder back. Broke. Zitch. Hatch. Goo. Jew. Hitch knee. Samji. Go. Rook. Sitch, hatch, ku, ju, itch, hai, ni, san, shigo, rup, sitch, hatch, ku, ju, itch, ni, san, chi, go, rup, Sitch, hatch, ku, ju, itch, ni, san, shi, go, hai, kame, hare, and relax. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's all for today's training on Basarai. If you have any questions about the kata, feel free to uh, leave a comment, ask away. But as always, I just say, your best course of action is ask your instructor, ask your senpai um, for advice. Best thing is ask someone that can be in the room with you and fix you up, okay? Uh, myself, my wife, this channel, we just hope to be something that lets you train at home on your own. Um, but you got to check whether you're doing things right with your club, your instructors, okay? That's it. We're finished. Subach. Great. All right. Thanks for training with me.